I think most of the films that Channel 7 have done in the past have had sort of messages, um, bullying, things like that. Um, but with Truth, we just wanted to make something completely different. Uh, my name's Lindsay Townley and I'm the director and scriptwriter or co-scriptwriter with Darren. My name is Jessica Hart and I play the character of Georgia. My name's Caroline and I play the part of Yelena Muscova. My name is Darren Lalonde and I'm the producer, writer, editor, cameraman and everything else. My name's Tommy Martin and I play TJ. Hi, my name's Paul Ryan. Uh, my job was help with sound recording in all the various locations. I think I have to say it was the the end sequence with the shootout in the warehouse, apart from the part when I cracked my head open. I think the scene that I'm most happy with is the scene at the end of the film, which is the warehouse bit where everybody gets killed. Um, for a number of reasons, the camera work was very good, the lighting, the acting, um, it all just seemed to come together on that day and I think everybody had really good fun sort of making it as well because it was sort of a big build up to this end scene and it was obviously playing with guns and things which was always fun so yeah, enjoyed that one. Uh, in the filming I most enjoyed the warehouse scene because uh, it was action and I got to use a gun and it was, it was, it was good, it was exciting and uh, it's good to have a chance to do something action choreographed. My favourite part to act was when um, I was in the toilets and the, the Russians kidnapped me. I think the things that got me mostly frustrated were when we were probably on the airfield when it was freezing cold and I don't know, I, it probably was going okay, but from my perspective, it just didn't feel like we were getting the shots that we were after, we were doing time after time, and Darren being sort of a bit nitpicky like he is, he wanted to do it again and again, oh, I don't like that, but let's do it from a slightly different angle. Um, no, I'm joking, actually. But no, that, that was because, because we were all getting cold and it was getting quite frustrating, and it looked as if it was going to be a nice afternoon. There are a number of challenging bits in the film, I think the aeroplane scene was quite challenging and that was really down to space and there was a lot of noise as well from, from the airport so we were struggling with that one. One of the other scenes which caused us a, a big problem was the bedroom scene with Tommy and Jess. Um, very tight space, very warm um, and very difficult to light. We had a plain wall on the background and that just sort of bleached everything out and was trying to get the balance of that. It was either too light or too dark and that was quite difficult to film. I think probably the other scene that was quite difficult was the Bourne Airfield bit, you know, just bitterly cold and you know, you desperately want to get all the right angles but you're freezing cold. Oh, cold. And then you're worried about your actors and crew and all sorts of other bits and pieces and you want to get it done and you want to do the best job but um, you're always playing against time and people get cold and things. So, Um, I don't think we go as far as say horribly wrong. There, there's s several things we wouldn't otherwise have liked. You have to do a fair amount of papering over the cracks of editing, but I don't, I don't think there's anything particularly dramatic. Um, the tr troubles are always those intrusions that you don't otherwise want. You've got traffic noise, you've got um, other people doing things around the location which you need for ambience, but keeping that under control and consistent with continuity is, is always a problem, especially when you're chopping between different styles of shots. I found um, the bedroom scene the hardest part to do because like, it was really hot and we had to do it twice and we had to learn loads of different scripts and stuff. There were some hard parts in the plane but it wasn't that hard. Um, I think she's a bit of a tomboy and she's TJ's best friend so she's like really close to him. I think um, Yelena's uh, personality is like my character in certain ways which is why 
um, but in ways that perhaps I don't get to indulge in in real life, so it was exciting to play her part. Um, she's quite strong and determined, uh, but she's more extreme version of me, and that's why I enjoy playing her, because I, I got to go for it with her, which was cool. Well, Darren came up with the initial concept of um, Anastasia's sort of descendant being kidnapped, and we were both absolute fanatics of 24. We wanted to do it in that style and try and recapture some of it, so we were sort of trying to think, well, how can we, how can we do that? How can we keep the pace going? Um, so so that, that was the, the key inspiration behind it. Um, the idea of truth uh, started with a script writing competition originally called the Magical Necklace um, and it rapidly changed from that into um, something my wife suggested about doing something about Anastasia so we we worked on that idea Lindsay and I at the time were watching 24 um, so we took a lot of inspiration from the, the speed and the, the pace of that and uh, I was also watching uh, reading the Da Vinci Code on holiday as well so there's bits of that in it as well, so it's a co combination of lots of things. Audition for is for the for the uh, and um, basically. Do I like seeing myself on screen? No. <laughs> <laughs> Delicious crumbs of biscuit. <laughs> that was the worst description I've ever heard. Yes, yes, take it easy, please. She's <laughs> Yeah. 